Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys a pretty cool video that highlights that it's pretty important to kind of be a little bit counterproof. Now, sometimes your build is pretty easy to counter, and sometimes you don't have any option to really stop that counter. But in my opinion, you often do. You often have some recourse to um, your opponent countering you with specific cards, and it's pretty important to take those if you can. Even if it's like a 50% thing, it's pretty important to try. The one exception to that is, in some cases, um, if you know you're really behind your opponent um, and they didn't have the counter last turn, I think it's okay to just kind of go with it. Like, if if your opponent is stronger and you're barely winning, but you get countered by, like, Ghoul, you know what? If your opponent finds a ghoul, you just lose. Uh, because sometimes dropping a card from your already made board to counter the counter can actually lower your chance of winning from a small amount to actually zero because, well, you'd sacrifice another card. So there are limits to this, but at the same time, I've noticed that generally my opponents are not giving uh, fair credit to getting countered. Uh, certainly not as much as I would have in their position. So I want to give you guys... You gotta play around Zap sometimes. Enjoy. Yeah, where's my armor? Dude, this guy has two armor? That's that's a bit of a fail there, Blizzard. Kurt, Kurt deserves a lot more than two. Uh, fine, let's do Cookie. Worst hero, two armor. Yeah, he is actually one of the worst heroes. I couldn't use my hero power and I couldn't triple it. So, very inefficient to make the play that you guys were thinking about. I am going to trigger this on one because I don't want any two drop mechs. Do we cash it in? Let's cash it in. Sure. There we go. Well, I'm probably if, when I play Runeterra, I'm probably gonna do the um, the Jinx adventure thing. I like that thing. I intended to play some more off stream, but I've been quite busy in our Poe league a little bit more. So. You know what time it is. Come back time. Are you uh, in here, Terry? Here's Zyrella in the game. Hmm. I will see how much mercy I will choose to exercise. This has a little bit of scaling. There's some chance I'll lose here, but it's not certain. Also, he leveled the three, which is pretty good for me. Physical exercise? Like I do shit around the house. Quite like the deflecto. Get a move on, minion. Is this the most fun I had of Hearthstone? Um, I really liked the era of discovery that was uh the original launch. Maybe the first, like, six months of me playing the game, yeah. And uh, I thought Old Gods was really well done expansion. It was the first time where Blizzard was like, 
hey, let's make cards over four mana that aren't garbage. Is a new way of thinking, really. Is a nice one. Need a drink. Yeah, I wanted to buy it first because I wanted to land on a deflecto, so with two deflectos, that's pretty good. AFK is really hitting it off with pirates there. How's Endless Dell going? I got to like level 75 or something. I keep getting a bit wrecked by the the lightning bats. I might try to do like a spell block setup. the elemental before because I didn't want it to take buffs from other cards. Oh man, it's really strong. Right. I guess I'm not that committed. And if I get the um, other thing, I'll put the thing on it. Shitty, shitty light thing. Always good to have a companion by your side. That was a fantastic card. Alright. I guess I could sell two, but I'm quite happy with the Cyclone. You think BGs will get honorable kill? Oh god, that'll be a shit fest. I hope not. As in Constructed, you can choose how the attacks go down, right? There, you can't. Complete RNG. Of course. Did I lose? No. Explain honorable kill for non nerds. Sure, give me a sec. Yeah, I'll hit next with it. Um, yeah, the green thumb's not that good. It's not very likely I'm gonna lose many cards. That was sitting in the back, eyeing you for a while. <laughs> okay. Honorable kill is a mechanic that's being introduced in the Alterac Valley expansion that's being released on Tuesday. It's a mechanic where uh, there is an activation trigger. The trigger resulting from the activation it depends on the card. So it might say honorable kill, draw card, for example. Honorable kill is triggered when you deal exactly lethal damage. So if something has three health and a minion has an honorable kill effect and it has three attack, it will trigger. If you overkill it, it will not trigger. That's extremely dumb. I think it's actually a pretty nice mechanic for Constructed, because in Constructed you get to dictate how the attacks go down, but for a game mode like Battlegrounds, that would be a fucking terrible mechanic. That would be the worst mechanic I ever heard. <laughs> oh, get wrecked. Oh, wait, this is the sub. Oh, it's Terry. He said, don't kill me. There you go. I didn't kill you. See? <laughs> that joke. <laughs> uh, 
See, aren't I the best? Look at that. Such, such generosity, dude. Fine. Oh, well, that'll probably get attacked like three times. So. The Leaper? Nah, it's fine. It's an interesting mechanic, but calling it Honorable Kill is a lull. Well, it's like the whole Alterac Valley thing. You go to Alterac Valley to farm Honor and World of Warcraft and Hearthstone, despite it not being any Warcraft-related thing, because it's not Heroes of Warcraft anymore, because they had a brand change, if you guys remember that. <laughs> right. <So. laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. That. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, like after, I don't know, four or five years, Hearthstone used to be called Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft. Right now it's called Hearthstone. They changed it around the time they did the uh, main streets of Gadgetan. Because probably the guys over in the World of Warcraft Lord Department over at Blizzard were like, What the fuck, bruh? I ain't making this shit in World of Warcraft. And they're like, well, fuck y'all, I'm not calling it Warcraft anymore. But, I mean, who are we kidding? It's obviously Warcraft. You never knew. Yeah. You can even check on the thumbnails. Hold on, let me see. And show you guys. Good. I'm gonna hit a Murloc because I want the self poison Murloc. Oh man, there's so many divine shields there. Alright, let me see. You're on fire, but don't worry, it's okay. It is worth it because the the golden version buffs the fucking pirate. So. Yeah. Actually, I don't think I want this. I'm just gonna throw it out. I. I don't know if I want to play the gold grubber. I guess there's three goldens. And I guess it'll be the last round next turn, so I might as well, yeah. According to my calculations, you are first. Okay, this is the this is the sub by the way. I have a really strong board for turn twelve. 
Like, this is insanely strong. Murloc later. That's true. In that, please. Oh, for fuck's sake. Nah, it's a hundred. Seventeen to twenty eight. Yeah, let's just go ahead and hit him for thir uh, 12. Tw I, I was going to say 13, 12. Right. Yeah, I was I was ridiculously strong for turn 12. That was that was just insane for turn 12, especially cuz I had the zap counter too. I thought the game would last a little bit longer. I thought I'd have one more turn to scale this, and I would have with the uh whatever grease bot, whatever it's called. Anyway, so yeah, what I was saying is, uh, so this is, oh, what the fuck, oh, there it is, okay, so it has to be full screen. This is Hearthstone logo now. This is Hearthstone logo, Heroes of Warcraft.